Welcome everybody, NFT Parent here, back for another video. We've got a couple, we got a few projects and some news today, so let's jump right in. I've had people asking about Pop Art Cats. I really didn't know much about them, so I got on there and looked a little bit on their site, did a little research, and they are cool. And as you can see on OpenSea, they are at .255, haven't been out very long, sold out, have over 5,200 um owners for just 10,000 so that's really good had a lot of volume traded so they're definitely popular 10,000 cats looking for owners uh, so it is on uh, ethereum and it says scientists have recently discovered a new world inside the metaverse in this world they found 10,000 mysterious and colorful cats the cats are living a simple life which with the popular culture and beautiful art prevail as the new world unfolds the cats are looking for owners homes friends and stuff to own so it says, what are pop art cats? So I said 10,000 uh, cats redeemed in the pre-sale will be available during the public sale. This, it's already all sold, so it's been minted, so you have to get on OpenSea. But I like how the artist kind of shows, you know, a little picture here about the artist. It says, Matt is a former industrial engineer and mechanical engineer based in Montreal, Canada. So you can see that you don't have to have, you know, went to college just for art or anything to get in this space. It's a space anyone can get in, and I'll even show that in a little uh, project we have showing here in just a little bit two years ago he decided to follow his dream as a full-time artist and has since acquired over 1.1 million subscribers on youtube and 2.7 million on tiktok that's awesome he's worked with the biggest artists in the brands including justin bieber ed Sheeran, samsung disney so he's really really gotten out there it says the roadmap is uh, pop art world will be deployed in seven phases throughout the development there'll be several collabs partnerships giveaways and exciting stuff to announce and this this community is really active on discord and people seem i had a few people reach out uh, saying they were looking at this project so it's definitely caught the eye of many people so i wanted to look into it um talks about a hundred thousand dollar giveaway um it says uh, there will be 10 special cats. Each person will receive a special NFT. It will be granted $10,000. Phase 2 rewards starting February 7th. Hold your NFT until May 1st, about three months, and you'll be rewarded a free limited edition T-shirt of your NFT. So that's really cool. I see more coming out. Hold until August 7th to get a free can canvas. Hold until August, uh, November 7th, uh, 2022, about nine months, you'll be entered to win one of 10 custom paintings by Matt. So that's really awesome. So you got kind of the merch aspect. You've got uh, coming 2022, each cat owner will receive access to Pop Art Luxury Suites. That looks really cool. Then you've got each cat owner will have early access to Pop Art Leopards. So remember, it's seven phases total. Everyone who owns a cat or a leopard will have access to Pop Art items. Then 3D art. And phase seven is the DAO. 20% of the royalties from secondary sales will go into the treasury. So that's really awesome. Got a good facts and questions here. The website is popartcatsnft.com. So definitely check those out. Um, they were 0.1 ETH during public sale, and now you're looking at 0 0.255 when I'm recording this. So they've really, they've had a good jump up, and people in this community seem really excited about it. So I've had a few reach out, so I definitely wanted to take a look because I didn't know much about them and hadn't checked them out much myself. And of course, the art is super cute, family friendly. So definitely check it out at popartcats.nft, and on OpenSea, you can see Pop Art Cats by Matt Chesco. All right, we've got a little bit of news. Coachella is auctioning 10 lifetime passes to the festival as NFTs. So uh, the festival is working with cryptocurrency exchange FTX to auction off NFTs. The release boasts 10 one of one NFTs that will give the buyer lifetime access to the festival. So you just another another popular event that is using NFTs for you know real life purposes. So you're going to start seeing this a lot more with ticket sales for music, sports, etc. And speaking of sports, you got Super Bowl 20. 22 coming up with the Rams and the Bengals. Tickets will come with souvenir NFTs from the NFL. Fans who attend the game will receive a token unique to their section row and seat. I think that's really cool that you'll get something that's actually right where you're sitting and not just a generic one that's the same for everybody. It says uh, NFL is, is giving Super Bowl um, attendees free NFTs to commemorate their ticket and serve as a digital keepsakes. Each spectator will receive a token with their unique row and section, giving fans a way for the league to offer souvenirs of sorts since physical ticket stubs are a thing of the past. So that's really cool. People used to, especially back in the 80s and 90s, everybody would keep their ticket stubs to popular games. Some of them would frame them, sell them. But now you don't get that. You scan your phone. And I think it's great that now you can have an NFT to commemorate that, that you can save forever if you want or sell or give later on, pass down to a family member. So I think that's really cool. So there's a little NFT news. Now we're going to jump into a one of one 11 year old artist has USA road trip picture. So she said she went on a road trip with her dad 
out west for three weeks and she was 11 years old and took pictures so she started up this um just this quick little um you know her first entry into nfts were these pictures so she said she's going to add more right now there's about 10 on here total but you can see that these pictures are real cool there's a uh, bison from yellowstone new york new york from las vegas the statue of liberty there you've got pictures of the Mo santa monica pier You've got smokestacks, people on the beach, um, Hollywood stuff, different streets. So I think it's really cool art the way you can take. It's really cool the way she took her pictures and make them um, much different forms. You can make each picture such different forms with different utilities you can download and access now. So this is very creative. She is just 11 years old. was super excited. I was told today she even got her first sale. So um, you may be seeing this the next day, but there is one of these is gone now, I guess. I probably haven't uploaded this, but th there is one gone. So she was super excited about that. But these are really cool art. So just 11 years old, I love seeing young people come into the space. So there's a lot of women out there kicking butt. You know, I do my Women Wednesday, and it's great to see young girls and boys all of all ages coming into this space. So these are as low as .006, so definitely check these out on OpenSea. It's USA Road Trip Pictures, so you can, I will have the uh, description, in the description, I will have a link to these. Now we've got another woman that I've been talking to, and she does a lot of different types of art, but she does the collage collection one of ones. So it, over 25 years of creating, a graduate from the Royal College of Art, says my work has been ex exhibited and sold all around the world commissioned work can be seen here michelle thompson.com and she also has a good twitter but these are really cool some people just have a knack for taking something that some people think might be easy and if you try to do it yourself it just never seems to come out like some people can make this stuff come out that's what makes somebody an artist like her and somebody like me that thinks oh they're just cutting pictures out and pasting them and then i do it and i'm like no it's not that easy so these are really cool i really like i mean super unique the way you know sometimes she said for collages she uses as little as just a couple pieces of art a couple pictures but i mean these are really neat how just you know you just combine different pictures and you know different advertisements etc to make these collages and i just think that a lot of these are beautiful i love that one with the house just kind of torn part of it falling off but you've got just stuff that i would never dream of that's why i'm not an artist and i love showing artists on here one of one artists but just some really good artwork some really good collage work and she does many different things so definitely check these out this is collage collection one of ones but you can also get on here click and you got michelle-thompson.com and you can see all this different work she does but she's got just a separate nft section where you can go to her website she's got stuff on foundation rarible she's got instagram all kinds of stuff to pick from so right now we're just talking about this but i'm sure you'll be seeing more of her on here michelle thompson is very dedicated to her work and will do custom things for you but i just wanted to show these collection this collage collection because i came across and i was like this is something people need to see these are really cool so definitely check those out and check out her website and uh, check out her link tree here. So I appreciate everybody watching. I'm NFT Parent on all social media. NFTParent.io is my website. Please subscribe, like, share. Let me know what you're wanting. Let me know what you want to see, just like the pop art cats today. We got those were up here because people asked about them. So I thought, okay, let's add them to it. So, and then we had the news. We have the USA roadmap pictures and then the collage collection by Michelle Thompson. So definitely check those out. Let me know what you're watching and I appreciate it. Everybody have a good day. Thank you. Bye.